yeah. The magic of online tournaments. You're, you're eating a glizzy right now? Congrats. Oh, I'm waiting for my Uber Eats to get here. It's been delayed by half an hour now. I love this app. No. You can't order a Travis Scott burger on Uber Eats, unfortunately. So I just ordered, just ordered a bacon quarter pounder, since that's basically what it is. It doesn't even come with like a Travis Scott toy, like no t-shirt, nothing. Like, what is the point of this? Anyway, so um, got Marco versus Jeja Jeja. Curious as to uh, what Jeja Jeja does to get this far with Kirby. You know, since Kirby's like bad and all. Do you think they're like scared to make Kirby good? Because they know that if Kirby was good, it would be probably bad for the game. So, like, that's how I feel about it. Like the recent Smash games. I agree. I hardly agree. Like he has multiple jumps. You know, pretty simple. Like. You know, not that he's easy to use, but like, you know, you know what he has to go for. Like, imagine if he had really good air mobility so he could, like, combo his forward airs across the stage. Yeah. He, he, I actually tell people it's kind of weird. If you want to main Puff, just main Kirby. Like, Kirby actually kills. I think Puff's better than Kirby. Ooh, that's. That's all of it. I don't know, man. I haven't really evaluated the characters. Kirby did just get Puff too. That kind of helps Kirby out a little bit. I think it was the most recent patch. Kirby got buffed. Yeah, I think they buffed Kirby almost every patch. They're just like, please, man, just give him something. Please be good after this patch. <laughs> now, I can't tell if that's actually true or not. Because, like, a, a, a Ford Air wants to have Smash with Kirby. Because, like, I just be seeing Kirby's, like, hit it sometimes. And then other times, they just fall out. Like, it don't even look like it's supposed to connect. But I don't know. Interesting thing about this guy's Kirby though is uh Ooh, that was that was rough. But uh he's actually trying to fight. The last time I saw Kirby get this far, they just crouch in the corner of the stage and then they would try to like absorb you with the inhale and then twist you. But you know not this guy. He's actually trying to play neutral. Kind of impressive. This, yeah, this match is gonna be rough. I, I just feel like Toon Link just throws the projectiles in that perfect range where Kirby wants to jump and do all his like combo starters, and like he doesn't really have to worry about it. Yeah, all the links accelerate on slowing and stopping movement, but also locking down the aerial game plan that a lot of characters can have. So if you try to approach in the air, you have to worry about things like boomerang or bomb and occasionally arrow, depending which of the links you fight. So it makes the, a lot of characters like have to really evaluate what kind of game time they have to play, especially a character like Kirby that actually does really good in the air and especially approaching with things like down air. See, stuff like that, like, you know, you got to grab at pretty much zero and couldn't follow up with down there. I, I think maybe you should have a, get a little help from Bandai Namco, you know? Maybe that should connect. Uh, <laughs> wait, hold up. Mar Marco's kind of choking this right now, though. Yeah, he could die to it. Oh, my God. He could die to it. All right, so maybe match. at this point, if I'm Jeja, my whole thought process is... Wow, I was gonna say don't do anything unsafe that can get you killed by like a raw move, <laughs> but, it, but it happened. Marco beat you to it. Yeah, he died like that on his second stock too. He did like a down B in a really bad spot, and then Marco just waited for him to release the down B, and he got hit.
Wait, can you do that? Kirby's down B goes through platforms like Yoshi. I know you could do that. What if he just like switches to Meta Knight? That'd be funny. And good luck, Marco. Put on the mask. Oh, okay. No, he can't go for the platform. Bro, see, that's another thing they could have done to buff Kirby. Hell <laughs> no, you got me. Oh, I mean, this is Cap. Bro, Yoshi can do it. Why can't Kirby do it? Kirby does not need to do it, man. I'm telling you that right now. He needs a lot of things. He's been getting a lot of things every patch. Not enough. <laughs> the man is good, dude. Don't worry about it. I think also, though. Oh, it worked this time. Oh, it worked this time. Alright. <laughs> All right, cool. <laughs> Last time that down there was like nowhere near connecting. Like Marco air dodged out of it and DI behind him before the down air did anything. It's crazy too because down air has like a soft, like kind of a softish spike. I wouldn't say it's a hard spike because it's not like talking down air, but it's, it still spikes. And actually just get early stocks too. Their opponent is not ready. Especially when it's off stage or characters with terrible recovery. Yep. He also got the footstool for good magic, as if he needed it. Oh my god. <laughs> Another one. Oh. <laughs> Thank god for bomb recovery. Yeah. Alright, we're living. I was wondering, uh, Link's bomb recovery, especially just Toon Link and regular Link, uh, Young Link, sorry, Toon Link and Young Link, their bomb recovery LA only has a sec second time on the bomb, versus Link, where it's about roughly, like, it's instant, but you high takes you about three seconds to set it. Nice positioning with the back there. Alright. Oh, yo, Nair? Nair grab? Okay. That's good. Good trade as well. Oh, he's going for the crazy plays now. I'm kind of sad for Jej out there that neither of his two down tilts tripped because that would have been a free F smash. But it's okay. All right, I don't know what Marco's doing anymore. I, I don't think he's trying to win this match anymore. I think he's just, he's just happy to be here at, at this point. <laughs> he's like, guys, I got top and I don't miss him online. That's all that matters, bro. That's the victory. Oh, okay. I thought he was going to up throw him, but he doesn't kill this person. We're just grabbing him in general. Oh my god. He literally just, he was like, all right, C stick left, C stick up. One of them will connect. And then Marco rolled right into that. So take it. Great to see him, man, but. Uh, JJ, JJ definitely takes the game here. You know what? I'm going to root for Kirby because I've never seen Kirby make it this far ever. You're not wrong. Uh, man. I kind of forget he's in this game most of the time. I guess the same thing I could say about Toon Link, though. Not that many people play Toon Link. It's all like Link and Young Link. Character is still underrated. Yeah, he's not that bad either. There's very few carries in this game that are just super, super bad. It's activated. I guarantee you it yeah. wasn't me. Uh, series tripping right now. It's okay. Wait, Wait, you have an iPhone? I have an iPad. Oh, okay. I will never switch down. Dude, once you get into the iPhone ecosystem, it's really hard to get out. Especially between iPhone and iPod. Alright, so my order is now delayed by the hour. Cool, cool. Real cool. That hurts. That's happened to me though. It's okay. Eventually, eventually a driver will pick up my food. Anyway. Q in the two hours later from Spongebob. <laughs> this is a good counter pick. Kirby's really slow in the air. So, good luck chasing Toon Link on the big stage like this. If Marco chooses to play, you know, the long game, I guess. There's another reason why matchups like this are hard for Kirby. Just how slow he is in the air. It's really hard to... 
deal with the projectiles that way. Kirby does not have fun with projectiles, for sure. That was nice. Yeah, Jenna's trying to go hard off stage, but he's having a really rough time right now. Jeez. Can't even land either, man. I already have the roll read on the up smash again, but uh, Marco not giving it to anymore. As he should, he has to be careful with giving the Kirby all the tears about like so, because falling smash is not going to be safe. That's the kind of thing about Jedi Jedi. I don't really see him giving to Link a lot of opportunities for situations like that, so he's trying to play as soon as possible and just like hold shield, not panic, oh, this could be a rough one. Yeah, good on Marco to save that jump. Characters like Kirby and DK, um, even other characters with multiple jumps like Puff as well. If they read one of your panic jumps from one of their like call ups off stage, it can put you in a really difficult situation. Like, it's really like, yeah. Like Kirby and Puff. Yeah, Kirby also has that down air too, so if you have a jump going low, probably dead. <laughs> they position the down air properly. Oh, or that. Jeez, that, that was just really good coverage. Forced him to go low there. Yeah, so I, I, in spite of everything, Jeja is the one that takes um, the stock lead now. Yeah. He's doing an excellent job, but like I said, like, he's not really falling into like too many game time of, like, you know, throwing up projectiles, having you panic. It's all about kind of like him holding the shield and then playing safe. Like he sees that there's four minutes on the clock roughly, and he knows like I have the stock lead. Marco kind of has to be the one who has to approach. You know, and with a bigger stage like this, I can just make those options where I just feel content to be safer. <gasps> yeah, he learned, man. He said, he said, go for it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> just put Marco on a tough spot. Um, usually in situations like this, there's things that like, Toolink can do to set up, so he can throw with things like Boomerang and Bomb Upward to cover a lot of options in which Kirby would feel more content to let go of platform. So that, that's up to Marco to see uh, what situation can he find a trap to put Kirby in. <laughs> I really don't know why Marco is just letting him waste the time like this when he's the one losing. Exactly. Doesn't really make sense. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Like, he, right. he, he can set up a trap, you know, that's all Marco to figure that out, like, totally has traps, like, he can set up. Yeah, like, like while Jeja um, was wasting all that time on the platform, uh, Marco didn't take any percent, so basically, he's the one that got rewarded <laughs> there, yeah. so now, because now he has a percent lead. Snag the jump. And go high. Good percent. Unfortunately, wasn't able to get the full head to get up here. But again, I, I like that he uh, got a really good edge guard there from paying attention to Marco's jump habit off stage. Oh, oh, that still worked out for him. It's unfortunate. Yep. He was aware of the boomerang in that scenario both times, but uh, he still just got caught jumping. You didn't even need to confirm to the up smash there. Yeah, that's kind of the thing about, like, uh, like I said, Toink, he has, like, traps, so... Boomerang being in play is one of them, but also just being able to see what confirms you can get after Boomerang is also another one.
That was one, though, um, I feel it kind of makes Toon Link telegraphed at certain scenarios of what he wants to kill you with. Because we know that your threat of dying is like a projectile into aerial you can just shield. Yeah. He does have a back throw that can kill, but other than that, you're pretty safe. Oh my god. You won't believe what my Uber Eats driver's name is. Marco? Travis. Bruh. <laughs> Give it a I ordered from I ordered Uber Eats from McDonald's and Travis picked it up. Would you pop off if Travis got actually like <laughs> I would be so embarrassed that he would be a Uber Eats driver at McDonald's. <laughs> it's all about the marketing, man. And he like, drives like an expensive ass car or something. Anyway, Marco won game away from uh, playing Gary's Rob. Yeah, let's see. Let's see what Jedi can do here. I actually think he has a good handle on what to do in this matchup. He's just having a hard time. Especially when it comes to edge guarding, he's really good at doing that. To get forwarder. Oh, a little bit too early. Nice whistle from Marco, but Kirby has multiple jumps, so he's fine. Should be okay here. Yeah, just barely enough to leave the back throw. Nice catch. Again, um, Jedi was just trying to play around the boomerang and not get caught by it, but. By doing that, he jumped in the perfect spot to be hit by the corner. The same way he died in the last game. Oh, he didn't want to grab the ledge there. At least I don't think he did. Yeah, Marco was in complete free fall from his up B. That's an easy uh, edge guard. And yeah, when, when you're in a position like this, you just don't want to drop free kills. Okay, good call out with the up smash. 48 is not too bad for Kirby. He's has to find an opening. Yeah, he does. Um, you can see, you can see that Marco is content of giving JJ a little bit of the run around with projectiles. It's kind of yeah. like totally definitely accelerates, especially against characters like Kirby and Yep. Yeah. jumping again. There's that Kirby aerial mobility. It's really slow in the air. It's not too difficult to just catch him in this situation. Yeah, Jeja at this point, he knows so he has to make something happen. So he's, he's going for a little bit more unsafe options just to keep uh, Make sure you can secure the stock. No sweet spot F smash. So unfortunately, when he gets the throw right at one, Ty will get the stock. At this point, like he's just taking so much percent. Can't really afford to just drop uh, opportunities to get the kill at this point. Oh my god, bad DI on the floor there. Trying to find his way back to the ledge. Marco just making the ledge just so difficult to get back to the center stage. Nice. Nice up smash out of shield. JJ got desperate for the stock there. And uh, Marco just, yeah, he applied so much pressure at the ledge. Made it very difficult for JJ. Yeah. 